Right, everyone, welcome to my sixth episode, this uh, Dangerous Waters. Today we're taking out the USS Kurtz, FFG-38. Uh, the mission we're doing here is African Bees Nest. It's basically, uh, there's our orders, we're tasking. It's a uh, port breakout. We have uh, bog hammers, uh, the dark colored uh, blue bog hammers are hostile. Any other bog hammer that's not dark colored is uh, friendly. And we're going to start off uh, pier side. New track. One zero zero two bearing one six five. All right, watchstanders are making contact reports. Lower port AP. And here we are. So it's the uh, river here off the uh, when the West Africa region of the world. And what I've just done here is uh, lowered my uh, port starboard APU. Aux propulsion units. They're basically like a trolling motor that the uh, surface ships have. Sometimes called bow thrusters. Alright, I got the green deck set just in case I want to do some helo ops. And uh, I'm just going to uh, turn on my air radar so we have some defense against a uh, possible uh, missile attack. And just looking out the port uh, bridge wing, I'll be shifting to port starboard bridge wings from time to time, just to make sure I've got sternway on. And uh, there we go. All right, and uh, pretty much just head out straight back right here. Looks like we don't have any wind to worry about or current. I'm gonna start to energize our APUs. Give us a little bit more, um, boom, uh, get us back and out of here a little bit quicker. There we go, we're picking up some speed now. Okay, once I get midships uh, by the end of the pier here, I'll go ahead and uh, kick the rudder to uh, the right. Right full rudder, aye, sir. And that will actually uh, make the bow go to the left side and the stern to uh, our right there. And uh, yep, there she goes. She's starting to uh, turn a bit. Not too difficult. We got a pretty large basin out here. Engine ahead so, one third. Uh, that's all I got to do Engine now. Is just keep a uh, full rudder on and. Uh, Watching my speed there a little bit, I took a little bit off. Um, I think I went to all stop, just using APUs only. Don't want to take off and go too fast and then uh, get into some trouble. Like slamming into those piers behind us. All right. Yep, slowing us down and just letting the uh, rudder do the work. Swing our bow around. There really is no right or wrong way to get a ship out of port, as long as you don't hit anything. One thing I will note of this class of ship, it only has uh, one rudder and one screw. There's my APUs, I just uh, raised them. But yeah, since uh, if I had two, uh, two shafts, I could uh, do a split and uh, turn her around a little bit better. Quicker. Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, helo ready. All right, ASUW for surface warfare, anti-surface warfare. So, should be loaded with torps and uh, a missile or two. The Romeos apparently go to sea with the the um, Penguin air to surface missile, and uh, we will be using that here in a little bit. All right, and uh, here we go. There's open sea out there, I should say the river. Get out of this basin here. Alright, and out. Uh, I want to see if I've got uh, forward momentum going. And it appears I do. But of course, getting a little impatient, so uh, I'm probably going to kick up some of uh, the speed here. Engine ahead, flank. No need to uh, turn the ship or anything yet. Let's just start making some headway. There we go. Looks a little better. Left. 
one zero degrees rudder aye sir engine ahead standard yeah i never heard a helmsman say left one zero left 10 degrees left 15 degrees etc rudder one zero. all right easy day survive that part of the mission and uh, we're out now all right so here's our tactical plot got the helo in the air and I'm gonna drop a couple points there for the ship to follow and there's our uh, weapon loadout and I'm kind of struggling to remember how to uh, establish link and then I remembered use the Aztec there scroll in click on the helo you and have control. control Roger out And there's our first uh, hostile. So I think I'm going to use the helo and uh, engage that uh, target. Okay, with one of those penguin missiles. And here's the uh, 60 Romeo coming about. So it has to at least be, I think, based on the target, probably 20 to 30 degrees off the bow there for the missile to uh, be able to acquire. Indicate pitch for zero. Pilot slowly uh, moving. Aye, right, sir. And I'm just going to cruise at five knots back there on the parry. Weapon away. And let the heel take this guy out. Alright, let's see what happens. TAO is on our suit. Loud explosion bearing one, nine, three. Alright, it's a loud explosion, so uh, it missed uh, the hostile. There's a sailboat right there, and there's our bad guy. So there's our uh, arc ball, ball camera. Let's go ahead and uh with an away. SM2. Engaging track. Zero, zero, four, three. All right, so this little guy's dodged two missiles now. And let's see if he can dodge the 50 cal. Here's what I learned using the big eyes here and then uh, increases the accuracy a lot. kind of just doing right in real life too you'll just do short burst with the 50 cal remember I three to five burst for trigger squeeze and uh, just to make sure he's dead and there we go we're reloading but no more wake so uh, yeah he's sunk All right, one hostile down. Yeah, on to the next. Okay, so we moved down the uh, a few more miles down this river. Move the helo that way. As you can see, that link track down there is another hostile. So it shows a torpedo attack for this guy, and uh, that's what the helo is setting up for now. Two, two, four. And nothing on the scope over there. So I'm uh, guessing the uh, water's too shallow and the weapon went straight into the mud. So no self can uh, use Engaging track. Zero, zero, five, zero. And there's our SM2 tracking nicely. And two, that's a kill. Three, one. Okay. So yeah, for this mission here, just get a lot of visuals on these guys. 
and then uh, select how you want to engage him. And we just recovered the bird. Alright, thank you. Alright, so we got the bird on deck reloading. I just have that option to use her again. Head. I'm really struggling here to move the scope over. There we go. So what I'm doing here real quick uh, is converting that relative bearing down there you see to a true bearing right there off my port beam and it's that guy. Okay, we'll make him a hostile and just because I can still engage him as a unknown. And uh, we're gonna try out the 76 millimeter. And uh, here I was just amazed, I'm like wow. I don't know if this is a glitch in the game, I'm not seeing any splashes. And there I am. So, uh, and there is an, indeed a bog hammer, and it's like everything is going uh, over. So, this could be something that's modeled, uh, maybe, uh, although it let me engage it with the 76mm. If it was modeled that he was too close, uh, fire control should have said, yeah, you can't. So, anyway, I'm going to help out here with the 50 cal. Stationary target. Come on, guys. Uh, now he's moving. Hold fire. Track one, zero, two, one. All right, hold fire. Uh, he's still moving, so uh, they they missed. And so now I'm guessing he did slip under. Uh, the range of the 76 millimeter. Yeah, he's still there. He's still alive. So uh, let's uh, try to uh, take him out here with the port side torp. Move over here to our port side. And wait for a weapon launch. Torpedo away. Port tubes. Alright, and uh, once again, pretty anticlimactic there. The uh, I guess it's water depth too, even for a port side. Or ship launched uh, weapon. So here's where our guy ended up. He ended up there on our port quarter. Inbound. So just take care of the fashion way. The mic 2, or I'm sorry, the M2. Decal. Getting a lot of use out of the decals today. him a little bit. Okay, and we're reloading. And uh, it's a kill. So we'll drop these tracks now. And continue on with the uh, port breakout. Bridge lookout, new surface contact, bearing zero, two, nine. And uh, right here we've got the message from headquarters uh, telling us that Intel says there's a minefield in the river and we're supposed to stay to the, hug the coastline. So hug coastline I. Explosion close aboard, possibly a mine. TAO, sonar soup, loud explosion, bearing yeah. two, nine, two. Okay, so uh, yep, we get a mine. Surface contact, bearing three. One, eight. Okay, and we have a new surface contact to worry about too, so we'll get damage control parties out. Up this fire. Two, one. And a very uh, cluttered surface picture, so again, you go out with the big eyes, take a look around, identify all these yellow squares. Uh, it's a freighter. Okay, neutral ship. Uh, that is a bad guy. So let's take care of him now. I'm going to select the SM-2, Standard Missile 2, Anti-Surface as well as Anti-Air, and uh, let's take this ball camera out. Let's 
is. One, zero, two, five. TAO, sonar soup, loud explosion, bearing two. Scratch eight, one, ball game. Pleasantly surprised that it didn't go after the uh, the missile didn't go after the freighter. So, good job to the fire control techs on that. We're getting closer to the ocean. Uh, no more mine strikes. A couple surface targets out there to take a look around. Over here on my starboard bow. And uh, let's see. There we go. Coming right at us. Too close for the 76. Uh, a little too close for the, uh, and the torpedoes don't work. Too close for the SM2, so we're going back to the uh, Maldus cow. In those short uh, control bursts, that was a good blast right there. A couple more like that, this will be a kill. Dead ball hammer. Right, we're still cruising around. Uh, damage control did their part. Okay, we got some contacts closing here. Let's take him out with a missile. Bird away. Engaging track. T -O, One, sonar zero, soup. Loud four, explosion. Two, Bearing. two, six, two. Okay. Wow, that was within a thousand yards, so that was crazy. Bridge lookout, new surface. Okay, then I got this guy out of the blue. Zero, three. And there's my F lookout giving me the report. Good job, space deep on watch. I don't know if we got the time. We don't. He's underneath my arc of fire. Great. All right, I'm surprised I didn't lose the whole mission here. Took a mine strike as well as a uh, bomb-laden bog hammer there. So we've got a couple holes in the skin of our ship. All right, but we still have uh, propulsion available. Got us up to uh, flank speed. Passing safely astern of the uh, surface contact off the starboard bow. There she is. All right, we'll soon be out in uh, open ocean. There's the line we have to cross. One more look at the intel message. It says there is a minefield that'll go active across that white line at 1830. Uh, it's not 1830. All right, there's our mission accomplished. Ship's pretty beat up, but we're still afloat, still making uh, steam. And there's our uh, Bravo Zulu from headquarters and I like how they just throw in there don't forget to do your port visit uh, report that's required so it's just another message that ops guys have to send out all right everybody that does it for me I hope you enjoyed and until next time